Okay, here's a, a Jada Hero Patrol uh, Dodge Charger. It's a 30-second scale model, um, Nevada uh, Highway Patrol. You can see on the side there, State Trooper car, uh, all the proper decaling. Uh, this comes from the factory painted and decaled. Um, with their cars, the front door is open. Like so. And then also the trunk lid opens on this one. And with a, there we go. That's where the batteries are located. Easy enough to change through the trunk. Just change them. Replace them through the trunk lid. Easy enough. Put the trunk back down. Keep them in place. Um, interior on these. Uh, same as the other Jadas. Uh, a little bit of radio console. You can see the microphone in there as well. Uh, MDT. Uh, and also has a uh, prisoner cage located inside. These do have a push bar on them. Um, the squeakiest I've ever had any of these wheels on these cars. See, um, so anyway, there we have the uh, covering the car itself. On the bottom, uh, one switch here into uh, what would be the gas tank. And press that one time, will activate the lighting. Um, same circuit board as the majority of my 30-second scale cars that are for YouTube or uh, eBay. Um, of course, you can see that my camera is failing to pick up some of the flashes of the headlights. It is a constant pattern. If you've seen my other videos, you know this and you've heard me say it, but I'm blaming it on this guy right here, the camera. So anyway, a certain way I can do this, it seems like it picks them up a lot better and more consistent. Anyway, I don't know what it is except maybe my photography or videography skills or the camera itself. I'm going to go with the camera. Um, so one press uh, makes it has it goes through the uh, different patterns. Uh, like I said, hard to detect on the camera, but it's more of a, uh, like I said, it cycles through all the three patterns that I'm going to go through now. Press it one more time. Uh, pick that one up just a little bit better. It's a real quick strobe, uh, single flash wig wag. So you can see the light bar and tail lights follow suit. As my camera fails to do the, pick up the reds very well. There we go. That, that does it right there, darken it up a little bit. So uh, all the lighting does the same, or the patterns there. Hit it one more time. It's a simultaneous flash for all six lights, or LEDs will flash at the same time. Which, you know, may want that, may not. One more time. Uh, it's kind of the same as the first pattern, except it's a double flash. I don't know if I can get the headlights to pick up properly with this one, but we'll try it with the taillights. You can see a little bit better. But just like a double flash on each side, and then the switch sides. See if we can just fake the camera into picking this up. Not really. It's wanting to pick up the passenger side, but not the driver side. Hard to pick it up. Let me see if it did get the headlights. No, strobes are just too quick for my camera. Um, but anyway, uh, there you have it. One more press, of course, turns everything back off. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn it back on one more time. Uh, as you can see, the car rolls freely. All four wheels will roll, so no problem with that. And the front wheels hopefully won't be so squawky on your desk like they are mine or my bench. Uh, the antennas that come with this car, like I said, with uh, purchasing the car with eBay, I add uh, extra set of the batteries, so you get a fresh set of batteries and another set of batteries, new batteries, and then also throw in a couple of my small antennas with the car as well. Uh, a lot of you ask, I'm going to add this video to my antenna uh, listing. A lot of people ask, how's the best way to put the antennas on? With any car, not just the Jada, but with any car, I use these, uh, this glue here. It's amazing goop. Uh, it's available at Walmart. It's like $3 a tube. You can use it for about anything. Uh, it's a very clear, you can see it there, it's a clear silicone almost type adhesive. What I usually do with this is stick the uh, antenna base in there just a little bit. It doesn't take much. Just a little bit to get it on there and then stick it on the car. And you can hold it for just a second. Make sure you get it positioned just right. Uh, once you let go of it, it'll stay fairly well. You may have to hold it in position just a little bit. Uh, that's how I glue mine on. Uh, this glue works great. Uh, like I said, it doesn't take much at all to hold it. It may fall off because I just put it on there. But as you can see, uh, there's barely any glue around that. Now once it dries, if you do get too much on there, once it dries completely in 10 minutes or so, you can take a small screwdriver, hold the antenna mast itself, take the screwdriver and just kind of pull a little bit of the glue from around the sides of it and it'll pull loose. Like how like 
not to be gross, but like sunburnt skin. It'll peel right off of there. And then your antenna stays in place. So as you can see, even just since I did that, how quickly uh, that it'll set up enough to, you know, do whatever you want to do with the model. Now the good, best part about this glue, here's the best part. Not only does it hold well, and does well, for, you know, holding it in place, but once it stays, or once it dries well, you can actually almost lift the entire car with an antenna. Now if something happens where you want to uh, put it in a different spot or replace it, you can just pull this antenna off. There we go. And you see it left just like a little bit of spot right there. Uh, once it's completely dry, which it may not appear to be, but as you can see, that wipes right off. A little bit of wax. Of course, like I said, where it still kind of didn't dry completely. But it'll wipe right off, um, really dry, and just kind of roll off like... Um, I don't know really how to say it. Just like silicone would roll off of something smooth like that. So as you can see, there's no, get the light just right. There's no spots left. There's some finger smears. But nothing left on there other than my fingerprints. So just to give you an idea of how well that glue works and how the antennas are best suited to be attached. So anyway, there you have it. I uh, appreciate watching. And uh, to the new owners of these that start buying them, enjoy them. Thank you.